Show it. Show it. Show it. When voting this election day, November 6th, you will be asked, but not required, to show a photo ID. To learn more about how to get a photo ID for future elections, call 1-877-VOTES-PA or visit votespa.com. I know you're not fond of poll numbers, but I want to talk about some numbers that came out in a recent F&M poll with some mixed news for you. Your strongly favorable numbers were up in the most recent poll. Uh, overall favorability, though, still in the low 30s. Unfavorable, holding steady at 42, 14% undecided. We've been doing this show for a year and a half, so I know those numbers mean nothing to you. And, and, and they go up and down, too. And, and they do go up and down. But as we approach the midpoint of your term here, eventually you have to start thinking about re-election and what do you do to change those numbers? Well, I think we um, continue to do exactly what we're doing. Remember, I campaigned on uh, making the tough decisions because we knew we had tough times in front of us. And as you can see, we certainly do. And when you make tough decisions, it's not necessarily popular with people. It'll be the end result of those tough decisions. If you know, we see the economy start to turn around, we get uh, fiscal discipline. And I went into this with, with three goals. Number one, uh, to leave state government whenever my term is done, whether it's one term or two term, in a much better fiscal position than I inherited. Uh, and we're on that track. Number two is to give uh, a quality uh, education to all the children of Pennsylvania at a, ta at a price that's affordable to the taxpayers. And number three is to create a job for every Pennsylvanian that wants one. Uh, we're on the road to doing that. It's not easy to get there. People are upset because they're used to money coming from Harrisburg. Well, I would remind the listeners it's always taxpayers' money. And we are try I am trying to be a, a steward of the taxpayers' money uh, at this point in time. Tax increases right now would, would harm the economy uh, greatly. We're starting to see our economy turn around. We're starting to see businesses come to Pennsylvania, wanting to come to Pennsylvania for the first time in a long time. And um, when we get to election year, if uh, people still feel that way, then, you know, I won't be reelected. Re uh, but at this point in time, this is exactly what we had to do. You know, I, I know I might be a little unusual. I made the promises. I told the people what we were going to do, and we're doing it. 